Okay, we're getting ready to deploy this package of Sassatras bees. We've got this bee bus that arrived today, uh, May 3rd. It's only 55 degrees out right now, so I'm doing this uh, quickly. As you recall, I had a split in this uh, horizontal hive. They didn't have any brood that has emerged yet. Uh, a lot of eggs, a lot of brood. I moved them to another hive since they really weren't established in this box yet. So this is what I had wanted to do was to deploy a package in this horizontal hive. Now I'm gonna do this rather quickly since it's cool out here today. I've already got uh, a feeder here. I've got uh, the one one syrup with the Apis Biologic, the uh, control in there for them. I've got some frames here, I've got some honey, I've got uh, some pollen in some of these, um, and I'll also throw a pollen patty on here uh, probably tomorrow. I'll come out here, I forgot to bring it out here with me today. But I'm going to do this quickly. What I'm going to do is, I don't like the way they deploy their queens. I've got this covered up because of the, I don't want them chilled. Um, you have to pull the cork and quickly stuff something in there. Um, a marshmallow. I'm going to use fondant. I've got some Hive Alive fondant I used over the winter. And I'm going to stuff the Hive Alive fondant in there. I have had some problem with this in the past. <laughs> I have had some queens get out on me. You pull that cork, that queen is ready to go. You have to be really, really careful when you pull that cork or that queen will get out of that queen cage. So you have to pull the cork and be able to put something in there real fast. And where is my fondant? Well, where is the fondant? It's on the bottom. I got some fondant here. I will shove that in there. So let's, let's get started here. I've already got this loose. Oops, well, let's just beat the camera here. Okay, peel the tape here. Now, when I remove this can, uh, it's the canned syrup that came with them to feed them in transport. And right here is the queen. Uh, she's attached right here. In order to get her out, you have to remove the can. Well, removing the can, of course, the bees will be able to escape. So what you do is you pop the bees down just a bit. You don't want to do it too hard because you're rattling the queen as well. You do not want to rattle the queen too much. But you do want to knock the, the bees down just a bit so you can pull the can, pull the queen out, and then cover that back up. What I'm going to use is this little section that came on top of it, the shipping label. I'm going to put that right over there on top of it when I pull that out. So let's start here. Knock them down. Pull the can out. Get the, well, Queen cage down there, and let's secure the rest of the bees there for now, and set them aside. Okay, shake the bees off there. Again, you don't want to shake the queen too much. Okay. I am wearing latex gloves instead of my regular gloves because I need a little more feel to 
work on that cork. Trying to get these bees off of here. It would help to work on that queen cage without the bees. Almost got them. And I'm flying back on there. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have a queen in there all alone is the way they ship this one. And that is actually a fairly small queen. She is mated. And all I have is a cork. So what I have to do is I have to pull that cork out and put a fondant in there before she gets out. And you can see she's moving pretty good in there. So this is going to be a interesting maneuver here. One I have failed at in the past. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. Okay, I find it shoved in there and she's in there. And I've got fondant in there for them to get out of there. Okay, success. So, let's put her over here between frames. Squeeze these frames together. Okay. And it feels like there's some syrup in that can. I'm going to leave it down. Leave it, well, no way for him to get to it. Let me get rid of that can. I don't have a way to feed the can on this particular hive. So, let me, uh, now address the bee bus. The way I'm gonna do this, I don't normally dump bees. I seldom do. Once in a while, I... here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna set this down in the opening here. Here's my divider board right here. I'm gonna set the bee bus down here open it up, set it on its side, bees will come out, and then tomorrow I'll come out and remove the bee bus. Like I say, it's a little chilly out here. I don't want to take any chances with these bees. I love my Sassatraz bees. Okay, they are open. I can now start buttoning it. Come out of there. And they will find the queen and take care of her. That's my uh, quick deployment of a package in my horizontal hive. Okay, there's the bee bus. I laid in there, let the bees get themselves out. And pretty much all we have is uh, dead bees. Not a lot, but whenever you get a package, there's always gonna be some dead bees in there. 
couple crawling around in there. I'll just leave this lay here for now. And move this divider board over. Let me take a quick take a quick look in here. You can see there's a lot of bees. This is a pretty healthy package. And they drink about a quarter of the syrup already in there. They've done a get these boards back on. Now crushing some bees. go now let's throw a pollen patty on there notice I've uh, cut the pollen patty lengthwise so it's skinnier and I've peeled off the back here make it much easier give them more surface areas for the bees to uh, eat this thing and defend against any hive beetles that might have gotten in here and I will just put that over a couple of the frames here. Of course, there's no brood in here yet, but that queen should be released any day. And I'll move it once I see brood. Okay, okay, let's try to get rid of some of these bees. And get this closed up. Now there were a couple bees on this side of the divider board, uh, actually several, so I'll just open up one of these openings here a little bit so they can escape. And that'll take care of it. Okay, this is Tim. Common Sense Beekeeping at Southwest Ohio Bees. You have a fantastic day.